It seems like karma is going after people who helped destroy Johnny Depp during the defamation case, and fans are living for it. The most recent addition is Swedish Jew Fish, a well-known Johnny critic who is adamant about throwing all the shade during Amber's accusations. However, the universe is finally rewarding the righteous and punishing liars who thought they could get away from all their wrongdoings. And boy oh boy, they are getting hard. They're being brutally exposed. So, how did this Johnny critic get exposed? And how bad was the foe? Let's find out. In 2011, Rebecca, also known online as Swedish Jewfish, started publishing journals in the Daily Cost community section. She didn't start gaining followers in the community until 2012 when she started posting frequently about abuse. She would later declare herself to be an investigative journalist after that. Her reports are so bad that she even got banned from some websites because of the things she was publishing online. Of course, as a self-proclaimed journalist, she jumped on the bandwagon when people were throwing rocks at death, and in true fashion, she sensationalized almost everything she reported about the trial as she sided with Amber Heard. Recently, people have been calling her out, and everyone is all for it. Rebecca, what if you believe that she is an investigative journalist? But given the numerous posts of hers that are scattered around the internet, it would be insanely absurd. She also just so happens to find a massive conspiracy of assault, pedo rings, trafficking, or a mix of all of those in every subject that she investigates. Also, Rebecca tends to move from one Twitter account to another whenever she gets caught in the corner. She went me during the Depp vs. Heard trial, only to reappearance on Twitter, this time not to join the hash I stand with Amber Heard movement, but to comment on how everything is a setup. But Depp fans weren't very happy to welcome her to the community, especially given her track record, which isn't very stellar. Later on, she issued an apology for her statements. After her unsuccessful attempt to join Depp's supporters, she came out once to criticize Johnny. In her recent tweets, she revealed how she has some groundbreaking revelations about Johnny Depp, only to say she has to postpone publishing anything about it. Rebecca claims that one of her sources is currently applying to be added to the list of potential witnesses in the Depp vs. Brooks lawsuit. Yeah, okay, Rebecca. Furthermore, she said that precision is more essential than timeliness, which is at best absurd. Personally, I don't use accuracy and conspiracy theory synonymously. Because of this, fans have been going after her throat. This fan said, I'm blown away by this. Seriously, not only is this a beautifully precise piece of online research, but it's poignant. This woman is a very, very sick individual. Imagine what it would mean for her to side with the likes of Amber Heard. Another said, what she needs is a psychiatric intervention. If the turd stains continue enabling her with their adulation for any crackpot conspiracy theory, it's going to end in tears. Well, thankfully she got exposed and hopefully, she realized that it's better to stop now before it's too late for her. How about you? What do you think about this article and were you happy she got exposed? Let us know in the comments below.